watching Facebook Live. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulty, but we're back on the air. We're back with Saber Mustafa talking about building your own business, setting sail on your own voyage, whether it be professional or home ownership or building ownership. Uh, and, and the fact that there will be obstacles, it will not be an easy path. And let, I mean, even if you're funded, right, those yes. people still have yes. a hard time. They still, they still really have a rough, rough time of, uh, of, of life. Like things come up and, and it's not always, uh, roses and daisies, but like you said, if you love what you're doing, uh, and that's the vibe I always got from you that you were just like, you were always, you were always smiling. I want to read another thing that I, I, I just was like going through social media, but looking for stuff specifically for this show. And there's a couple other people I listen to. So Simon Sinek, who I, I quoted at the beginning of, of the uh, show, if you haven't, are you familiar with him? No. Oh man, you got to check him out. He's great. Gotta, you and, to, yes. It's funny because someone sent, he did this famous Ted talk about 10 years ago. And it just went viral and kind of put him on the map. And someone sent it to me, like, I think you would find interest in this. And I, and I watched it and I'm like, man, this guy is like, he's really preaching to the choir right now, but you still need that yeah. reaffirmation. And I feel like a same, if I sent it to you, oh, yeah. you, it would just hit you in the heart <clears> and you'd be like, man, that's exactly, I mean, he says it in a, in a way that maybe I wouldn't say it. And he's a little bit more educated. Um, and there's another, another gentleman named Gary Vaynerchuk. Are you familiar with no, him? No, I'm not. Uh, another guy, he was a wine guy. He was like Mondo wine guy. He took a, he took a $3 billion retail store to a 60 million online e-commerce business wow. in like no time. Yeah. And then he transitioned into media and, uh, and he's really phenomenal and says a lot of really great stuff. So this is, this is from, uh, from his Twitter account and it says success needs to stop being talked about in terms of how much money you have. It needs to be talked about in terms of how many smiles you put on your face. Yes. And that was another thing that really I like struck that quote. me. Right. I figured you would. Cause you're just like, no matter what, <laughs> like there's a water pipe saver, there's a water, a water leak. And you're like, it's okay. Oh, like you're smiling. Care. You're like, let's just meet and let like nothing really phases you. And, and that always impressed me about you. And, uh, and, and I, I can't help but imagine that has led, that has been a major contributor to, to your success. Uh, so thank you. You and also bring that sort of calmness to the table too. But I, whenever I speak to you. Yeah. But I feel like I've learned that from watching people like you, oh, like I, you. you know, I've known you for a while and I've watched you operate and you know, me, I mean, you know, you're a little older than me and you were established already. So I'm trying to get set up and I'm looking as a young person, you know, a younger, I mean, I'm, I'm 10 years in now on prospect Ave at least, you know, in terms of business a little more actually. And, you know, I was definitely like a young bull and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go get it all, you know, but I, I started to say like, who, who's the person to follow? Who's like really doing things the way, uh, first that I, that I think are valuable. And it was the same for me coming up in business. You know, I've always, I would run small businesses for people and I would be like the second in command in a lot of places where I was right under the owner in many, many situations. And some of the guys were quite abusive, you know, not always to me necessarily, because you, you know, you usually take care of like your, your best people, yeah. but just in general abusive. And I remember as an employee and a manager thinking, if I ever get to that point, man, I don't want to be this abusive person. Like, yeah. and, and in the, it's not necessary. It's not in like late eighties, early nineties, yeah. when I was really starting to like get into the workforce and seeing that, I, you know, that was all there was. There was yeah. nobody like Simon Sinek and Gary Vaynerchuk and Tony yeah. Robbins. He's another one I listened to. Like, oh, Tony Robbins. With, yeah, yes. everybody knows him. But these great messages. Yeah. Nobody was saying that back then. This is like the, the... I listen to Joel Olstein every now and then. Oh, I don't know who he is. Oh, he's, check uh, him out. Yeah, yeah. He's on, on Sunday mornings, Channel 7 or 8 or 9, one of those channels. Okay. He's pretty good. Cool. I'll, I'll look into him. We, we can exchange some, yeah. some mentors there. But yeah, nobody was really, really saying this stuff. And then, you know as I got older and, and it just happened uh, organically and I kind of didn't realize it happened. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden I became like the elder statesman where everybody's like, you know, what's up? What do we do? And I'm like, me? Yeah. <laughs> me? And I was like, well, this is how I would do it. And, and everybody was like, yeah. And it was not abusive. So I came up in that where like people were, I mean, I saw like yeah, they chefs thought, kick people and throw metal objects yeah. at people. And I'm like, I'm never going to do that. And I haven't. Yeah. So I'm yeah, no, well, that was a, uh an old old way of thinking right that, you know if you're mean you get you'll get they're gonna respect you and get the job done but you could be nice and 
and keep and people I, I find people are more productive when they're happy. Yeah. Another thing that Gary Vaynerchuk is constantly saying is that kindness is not a weakness. No. Like it's that's your strength. But Yes. 20 years ago, it was definitely seen as a weakness, a weakness. and, th- and they, people would just plow over you. I don't know if you look back, like a lot of those people that I, that I worked with back then and that I used to look up to, I look at them now and they're like, a lot of them, they ain't doing shit. You know, it, it's there, but not in a good situation. It's funny thinking back to supermarket uh, uh, business in the uh, 80s when I was uh, yeah. uh, been being promoted. Yeah. It was verbally abusive. Right. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what could, I think That's what granted. could, could contribute <laughs> yeah. to my success is that I wasn't verbally abusive right. to my workers because I got, I was the youngest promoted supervisor mm-hmm. at Gristides. I was, I think, 24 yeah. at the time when I got promoted. The same thing with 26 to me. stores. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And, uh, and I would treat the workers the way I would want it to be treated. Right. And when it was time for them to be there, for, they were always there. Yeah. For grand That's openings, the they would come That's and work, you know, just come and volunteer their work just yeah. to, to be part of and well, I support. think the point is, is if you treat somebody like a number, again, if you plant apple seeds, don't expect oranges. They're going to give you just that number back. But if you treat them as human, you can get human behavior back. Yes. And and thinking more long term with these people as opposed to like, I got a bottom line that I got to take care of right now. And you're just a contributor to that. That's, that's pretty short term. Yeah. That's, that's the sprint. That's, was the, shit. <laughs> that's the young bull that peters out and he's on the side of the road. And yes. I'm not going to give the bull analogy yeah. on radio. What's up, Amber? I see you. So, um, so talk to us about how you transitioned from that into, I mean, you talked about buying your first building. Where did it go from there? How did you, how did you go about, cause you, you worked for other people as yes. a real estate agent for a while. And then, yeah, so we were earning, uh, my wife and I earning decent income and, uh, so we bought our first property, we kind of enjoyed, we saw the, the, you know, the rewards we reaped mm-hmm. from that first, you know, having rental, uh, passive right. income and, and, a, and a great tax deduction from it. And, uh, so we, we, you know, borrowed against when, when right. you have a, a property and you have equity in it, you can borrow when we, we were broke, <laughs> now we <laughs> built equity, yeah. we have something to borrow against. <laughs> It's like a, like, and we didn't know any of this stuff, <laughs> right? You know, but thank God I've always uh, hung out with elder, people older right. than me. You oh, know? you know who I, I wanted felt... to talk about today? We have to mention George. Oh, I, oh man, I, George. man, I miss George yes. so bad, and yes. all those coins, and that was another indicator to me of how good natured you were, because you would pick him up. <laughs> like George was not always easy to I would to take uh, him shopping and to to digest. <laughs> you know, he would be at my coffee shop every morning, like an hour yes. before we open, knocking on the door, and I'm like, man, I can't. I yeah. got nothing for you. It'd be raining outside though. But when I'd see you pick him up, and just I was like, man, that's because my my wife was the same way. My wife would always make extra time for George. She would be like, you take care of him, no matter what yes. you're doing. Nothing is too important. And when I saw you do that, I was like, okay, because I think my wife is one of the most best natured people on the planet. And when I saw you do the same thing, I was like, okay, this guy's, he's good. Well, I, 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 I truly believe when I look back at all my life, you know, um, I learned so much from older people, mm-hmm. uh, elderly people, yeah. whether just having a conversation or listening to their uh, life experiences, um, you know, and, and I would always ask them this question. If you were my age, I don't know why, where I got this question, uh, but all my life I would ask them, and I must have asked a hundred uh, elderly people, if you were my age and you had money, what would you do? And just throw it out there. Yeah. And I got some good responses yeah, back. <laughs> the vibes coming out of this today. It's got to be because we're back in your, your, yeah. your, your little home. My wife, uh, my wife just joined the Facebook Live. Oh. I'm, I'm wondering if she heard that little bit about George. If you didn't hear that, Patty, we'll, we will play it back for you later. What's up, Noreen? How you doing? So um, another thing that Gary Vaynerchuk is always talking about and in, in suggesting young people who are interested in like getting going to do is to go hang out with old people yes. and talk to them and see what they say because you have that, when you're that age, you have that, 
that many years of experience that that, uh, that opportunity and that uh, uh what's there's another word i'm looking for but the the privilege of hindsight and and he's like a, you know a lot of them have regret and it's about it's not like oh i regret that i wasn't more uh frugal or whatever it was like i regret i didn't go after what i really wanted to and it, did you get a similar experience oh yes yes absolutely uh, one guy and then he very wealthy. So I regret that I didn't go on many vacations. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wow, okay, I'm going to start going on, go vacation. on vacation. Nice. <laughs> you know, so we booked a vacation, you know, and it's funny because it doesn't cost anyone any money to talk to someone or to pick someone's brain or get advice. And, and, and I found generally people enjoy helping yeah. people or sharing their advice mm -hmm. or their life's experiences. And someone 20 or 30 or 40 years older than me has been already through maybe a bad re uh, uh, financial cycle, recession, de right. whatever, whatever, so many things. the market like, up, the market right. down, how they've been through it. And I haven't, I, uh, you know. Right. Yeah. Same here. And I, I, you mentioned something before you were talking about you and your wife, like you were like, we didn't know what to do, but mm -hmm. you still just, it's yeah. like you, it, there, there are risks. You have to just get yes. out there and do it and you will learn so from the first property we bought, uh, we enjoyed it. So we bought a second and then we bought a third and then family members saw our success when they were telling us, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're right. buying it. You know what you're getting. Especially get. at that point in New York. It yes, wasn't like people, it was were, a, people were high yeah. tailing. <laughs> we bought our first property in 94, 95 and that and interest rates were crazy. Right. And now they're coming to me and say, oh, help me. So I would help them. I yeah. just help them because I've been through the process a couple right. of times and I enjoyed helping family and friends or friends of family or friends of friends. Yeah, you that's it. Take them through the system and yeah. we were not making any money. Right, right. You know, we were just glad to help, you know, pass that, uh, you know, uh, Pass forward what was given to us. Yeah. People helped us, so we just wanted to pass it forward. And then my wife told me one time, uh, why don't you go get your license? It was like, <laughs> get my license. <laughs> I'm a producer, you know, we're making X amount of about? money. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was like me, someone's like, why don't you do a radio you... show? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not making money off of it. Not yet. But. It, it's amazing <laughs> when other people notice a talent in you that you haven't, yeah, right. that you're doing oh, and you haven't discovered it yet. That keeps happening to me. Well, that's great. You said it is. You said some really great things that I want to pick up on on the next segment. We're going to take one more quick break. We'll be back with you in just a moment. You're listening to the Entrepreneurial Web. Yes. 